I want to see if I can take the Wisconsin Badgers and NCAA March Madness and turn them into national champions in only a few years. So Coach Husky Nation stepped in to take over the Badgers as their new head coach and in his first season received an invitation to the Old Spice Classic. Their first game of the season against St. Louis went well as the Badgers opened their season with an 83-50 blowout win on the road. Later, they found themselves in the Old Spice Championship game and handled business against Siena to win their first tournament with Coach Husky Nation. Their first loss, however, came the following week to UW-Milwaukee, but they bounced back against Georgia Southern with a blowout win at home, and this was big for them because Coach Husky had his first recruit visiting campus that game, and this win made five-star Vernal Holman commit to the Badgers. Wisconsin finished the preseason at 13-1 and and opened up Big Ten play against number eight Purdue, and the Badgers came away with a top 10 upset to start conference play. However, the rest of the season did not go as well as that game did for them, and they would lose the last game of the season in embarrassing fashion fashion to Ohio State. Coach Husky Nation finished his first season at 19-11 and and ranked 25th in the nation and had a first round matchup against Iowa in the Big Ten Conference Tournament. The Badgers would walk away with a win in this one but would not be as fortunate next round and were blown out by Purdue who they had upset earlier this season. Somehow though, we managed to sneak into the tournament as a 7th seed and our team came to play in the first round easily defeating South Carolina but we could not do the same against the 2nd seed Villanova Wildcats and took our worst loss of the season to them. With our season being over and Vernal Holman being our only regular season commit, Coach Husky Nation was able to sign four-star point guard Grant Cummins in off-season recruiting, and both of these true freshmen would be in the starting lineup for the Badgers next season, and they would have a chance to shine early in the Maui preseason Invitational Classic. The first round matchup would be a close one, but ultimately, we would get the job done against Kansas. In round two, we would get our revenge for our embarrassing tournament loss last season against Villanova, but in the end, we wouldn't be able to hold off Washington in the championship game. Headed into conference play, we were sitting at 9-5 and and ranked 21st in the nation, but once again, opening up Big Ten play, we suffered an embarrassing loss to a very strong Ohio State team, and that's pretty much how the rest of the season went for us. We finished dead last in the Big Ten with only three conference wins, and our first round matchup at the tournament was against Penn State, and thankfully, we were able to make it four Big Ten wins on the year, but our luck wouldn't continue though as we got absolutely obliterated by Purdue in the second round. And that early exit gave us a fifth seed in the NIT postseason tournament, which we did a good job of embarrassing ourselves in the first round as well against Virginia. So we had a long offseason ahead of us and we were losing most of our upperclassmen, but we were able to sign four-star point guard Anani Tipton, who would be our starting shooting guard headed into season three. We would start season three in the NIT preseason tournament and would walk away with a first round victory over Winthrop. Round two, Two was against Oakland University, and we came out of that game with the exact same result. Our semifinal matchup was against West Virginia, but they ultimately proved to be too much for us to handle. So we would handle our business and pick up a third place finish against Holy Cross. Headed into conference play, we saw a slight improvement on last year's preseason record, and we had a chance to win our conference opener against Michigan, but Grant Cummins' shot just barely missed the mark. We capped off our regular season with another loss to the Boilermakers and managed to finish with an even worse record than last season. These struggles were expected though as we were bringing in very young talented prospects and starting them right away as we would end up losing in the first round of the Big Ten tournament to Indiana this year. But somehow even with our struggles this year we managed to sign four-star Michael Franklin to the team. We would get another shot at the NIT preseason championship game this year and this time our team came prepared as we won the NIT championship over Auburn to start season four. Maybe this was a sign of things to come because because we had only lost one game so far this season, and we were able to open up conference play with a huge upset of number four Michigan at the Kohl Center. We were looking almost unstoppable headed into rivalry week, and we were ranked number 25 in the nation as well. Our rivals Iowa stood absolutely no chance of stopping us, and we cruised to a rivalry week victory no problem at all. We then found ourselves in our first ever overtime game against the Illini as well, and a huge shot from the freshman Imani Tipton tied it up here, and the freshman would come up clutch again the give us the lead and we would hold on for an overtime victory. We wanted to finish the regular season out on a high note and we would do just that with a victory against Penn State which gave us a third place finish in the Big Ten this season. We no doubt took a massive leap forward from last year and we were able to win our first round matchup as well against Iowa but the second round troubles continued for us as Michigan State would knock us out of the tournament. We found ourselves back in the NCAA tournament though and we were able to handle Memphis no problem in the first round. Our second round matchup was a bit 
bit more difficult, but we were able to hold off the Huskies in the end. We had finally made it to the Sweet 16 with the Badgers, and this was the furthest Coach Husky Nation had taken his team in the postseason, but the run wasn't over just yet. We gave number one seeded Arkansas everything we could handle in the Elite Eight, but ultimately it wasn't enough to get the job done and we got sent home early. And to make things worse, in the offseason we found out that Vernal Holman was leaving for the NBA draft as well. So this was our last season to try and win a national championship, but thankfully this was the best team we've had yet in the five years here. Our season didn't quite start the way we wanted, as we would end up taking a third place finish in the Maui Invitational. And then we found out Michael Franklin would be out with an injury for over a month. Even without Franklin, we had an impressive preseason performance as a team, and we had our highest ranking yet. Conference play was a breeze for our team this year, as we would end the season with a dominant win over Indiana, and would secure our first Big Ten regular season championship while finishing ranked number two in the nation behind Arkansas. With our dominant play continuing throughout the conference tournament, we found ourselves in the Big Ten championship against Illinois and won our first ever Big Ten championship. This win gave us the number one seed in the West region of the tournament, and we got right to work with a blowout first round win against UNC Asheville. Next round was a familiar opponent in Purdue, but they stood no chance against this Badgers team. And this rebuild came back full circle as we knocked out the team that beat us in the tournament our first year as a coach here in the Sweet 16. Our Elite 8 matchup was a bit closer, but we still won that game by a comfortable margin, and it was time for the Final Four matchup against Texas. Senior Grant Cummings would give us the lead here with this big time three. Even though Texas would go down and tie it right back up, and even would take the outright lead over us, Grant Cummings would step up and knock down this three at the buzzer, and the senior would send his team to the national championship with that shot. It was time for the national championship against the team that beat us in the tournament last year. Up by two points, Cummings would hit another clutch three-pointer for us, but Arkansas would manage to bring it back to a one-point game. With some clutch free throws from the senior point guard, we would manage to hold on to our lead and defeat the Arkansas Razorbacks to win the NCAA National Championship here in our final season as coach. So now that Coach Husky's career is done at Wisconsin, I want you guys to tell me what school he should rebuild next. He has offers from Creighton, Arizona State, in Oregon State. Let me know in the comments down below what school you want to see Coach Husky rebuild next, and we will find out next Monday, January 23rd at 4 p.m. Central Time.